In a world that's super ultra modded, one man must survive in hardcore for 100 days. Wait, didn't that one guy trademark this? Are we allowed to be doing this? Hold on. Minecraft 100 days trademark. I am abandoning this trademark. There will be no restrictions on any 100 days content. Oh, sick. One man must survive for 100. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, it's my editor. Hey, how's it going? Well, I'll tell you what, you fat little. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll be like. 30 hours of footage, yeah. You're you're gonna quit if I send you that much for it. I mean, it's slightly less if I sleep. You're, okay, got, mm, right, right. One man must survive for 10 days. Will he be able to do it? Or it, hopefully he can, because he's playing Minecraft for a very long time and it'd be very embarrassing if, if he didn't. Find out this time on Captain Sparkle Z. Hey everybody, welcome to my extremely original concept, 10 days surviving in Minecraft. Wow, isn't it cool? We spawn right next to a village. This is great. We're playing the Better Minecraft mod pack. Now, normally people would narrate this after the fact, but I prefer to do it in real time. Here I am on day one. I decided to begin by mining a little bit of hay for food. Food is very important in Minecraft and allows you to exist. I then proceeded to approach a tree this tree would hopefully allow me to create a crafting table. People actually like, do they do they survive for a hundred days? Because this is it's thirty hours. It's thirty hours of footage. Do they do that? Do they really do that, or do they just kind of go like, day one, I punched tree. Day two, it's actually five minutes later. Day three, she's actually. Three minutes later, I mean, there's, this mod pack is, it's, it's a heavy duty one. A lot of structures, massive dungeons, crazy amounts of new biomes across all the dimensions. I think it has the Incendium data pack, which we actually did a little playthrough on its own one episode that if they updated the nether again. Jesus! This video, I should mention, is brought to you by our sponsor, Quality Content Clothing. I think it's pretty cool stuff, but maybe I'm slightly biased. That's certainly a uh, possibility there. Oh, that's a really cozy looking house over there. I should probably check that out. This is like a great place for me to hijack. Oh, it's so like echoey. Do you hear that? There's more food? What? Freaking crossbow and an iron sword? Look at me. I am styling out of control right now. Don't mind if I take this. I feel like having a full set of tools and stuff would, would be good to have so we can survive our first I've encountered those guys before in another world and I'm not ready for them. I'm not ready for them at all. So let's go here. Oh, this is fine. This is great. Stone Age. Day one. I've already made some really great progress here. Acquiring stone. It's something few people are able to reach on their first day in a new Minecraft world. But I, a Minecraft professional who is incapable of unaliving, have managed to do the impossible. I will then use this stone, or cobblestone, in order to create my first set of basic primitive tools. Now even though we are in Minecraft 1.16, you'll notice that the textures have in fact been updated to reflect that of Minecraft 1.17. Once we do find a cave, you'll notice that those have been updated to reflect actually Minecraft 1.18, or we've gone even further beyond 1.17 even though we're in 1.16, it's really cool. I proceeded to retreat to my house and sleep in the bed so that we could stay alive and not have to deal with evil mobs at night. It is now day two of my journey of survival. 
What will I get up to today? I think finding a cave would be the top priority. Okay, there's some more iron. A little bit more, there we go. I'm a little bit worried about what we might run into. If there are any traps, I don't know if there are any traps or anything that we gotta look out for. Little trap. We've got ourselves, hey, it's a vanilla structure, but it could have something good in it, you know? And before I, I step on the pressure plate, I'm just gonna break it. There we go. What have we got? Oh, we got a little bit of emeralds here, a bottle of honey, ooh, some iron, a fire dragon egg. What in the world? Serpent charmer, I have no idea what that is. Couple of gold, ooh, we got a gapple, let's go. Day two, found desert temple, looted desert temple, proceeded to continue wandering to hopefully find something other that's cool in new mod stuff things. Heck yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 there's evil things. Oh god. Oh god. What are you? Are you fish zombies? What do you have on your heads? They have like f fish on their heads. What do you guys got in here? Potion of luck and some fish. Oh, you guys have been catching the fish like crazy. I don't know if we care about luck potions. I'll take one just in case. But what I probably will want to do is make myself boots and a heck mitt. Our food stock is like going great here. On day two, I constructed the most useful item in Minecraft so that I could acquire more food. The villagers didn't seem to mind. If I wish to make an enchantment table set up, I should probably collect these books. Hopefully they will not mind. You know what we can do? We can take the way- Oh, it's undiscovered. Does that mean I can't hold it? I can! Well, hey, you know what? We're about to approach the end of day two here. And perhaps I should sleep in this village and then I'll, I'll take a bed with me. Hey bud, don't mind me. I'm just gonna uh, commandeer your bed. I'm gonna take it. You're looking at me funny. On day three, I discovered, oh, bro, it's like, oh, it's a full-on village of the mask folks. Oh, wow, that looks very intimidating. I don't think that they will welcome me with open arms. Baracko, the sun chief. Can I befriend Baracko? No! They don't want me! I'm poisoned! Baracko! Bama! Why don't you like me? Thanks, Obama! Oh, I'm running. Okay, I don't. I don't think he likes me. What's I don't up? think they're very. They're still running after me. Oh, oh. This is this is quite bad. I'm I'm getting in my getaway car and I'm leaving. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're still chasing me. What do you guys do? Chill out. We're gonna have to revisit that uh, at a later date. I'm happy to have escaped with my life. Ooh, ooh, that's. That looks cool. I don't know if I'm equipped for it, but it looks cool. And therefore, I go. If cool, I go. That is me. Day three, I approached the strange structure and knocked on the wall. No reply. I've decided I must take matters into my own hand and enter myself. I proceed to build up using the bare minimum amount of resources that I am currently in possession of. I decide to break down a wall in the door. I peek through. There appear to be hostels inside. <laughs> They're invisible. This is creepy. Oh, 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 oh. Ow, does he have thorns? He has thorns. I will do the foot attack strategy. Your enemy does not know how to react to this, so they stand completely stationary and become unalive. I use this in order to take out one of the opponents. The others seem to be staying back, noting that my strategy is what, what, what? I've decided I must get a shield, otherwise my life may be in danger. Okay. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. He has thorns. He has thorns. How do you have, I'm gonna hit you with your own arrow. I'm gonna hit you with your own arrow. And you're not gonna know what to do. Yes, get wrecked, loser. Is he down there again? Ow, oh, that was an incredible deflection. Yes! Taking out another invisible enemy! This is my day. This is my castle to conquer. How many other invisible enemies do we have in here, and can I successfully take them all out? I feel like this has got to be a great place to take over for loot. There's only one more. There's only one more. What is this? Oh, it has stuff! Ow, the thorns. They hurt. Got him! We are incredibly well equipped to handle the bad guys. Or good guys that are probably just defending their home, but weaponsmith eye patch sounds kind of cool, honestly. I, my eyes 
kind of aren't concealed by the eye patch. Nearly on day three into my extravaganza, I've decided to completely conquer a temple. Oh no, yikes! They're shooting at each other. There's a bit of infighting amongst the troops. My health is getting low. Oh God, oh dear. One down. Oh, there's big boys. There's very big boys still remaining here. Do I wish to engage? Oh, both of them are engaging on me. I'm gonna retreat. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Oh, that's not gonna be good. That's not gonna be good. I'm gonna have to eat my apple already. Whew. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. They're gonna start shooting at each other. Yes! They're having an infight! This is exactly what I need. My shield is taking a beating, but we're still alive. And by the troops eliminating each other, we should be able to get some great gear. Oh my goodness, it was a close one, but we managed to survive. Whew, what a rush. What a fight. What an incredible victory. Day three, a resounding success so far. Well, before we go to bed, let's let's examine the spoils of victory. Does it get, oh, it gets better as you go. That's exactly what we needed. That's a, oh, I need more of them. Oh, there's even more? Are you kidding me? It doesn't stop there? All right, you know what I can do? I can combat log. <laughs> All right, Skelly Hut. And if I need to, I just go Crystal Mered and I dip out at a moment's notice when things start to get too dicey. I hear them, but I don't see them. And that is worrying. Oh, he's right there. Got him, got him. Got him. Oh, there's two. Oh no, oh no, there's a super fancy boy. There's a fancy boy, but he's taking out the fancy, the fancy boy is being taken out. This must be the big boss. This must be the big boss. I can dance all day. I can dance all day. Oh, oh, okay, gotta go back down. I gotta go back down. I gotta make, I gotta make another shield. They're extremely well equipped. They're extremely capable. And they, they have incredible, oh my god, I'm not able to block. He's got me pinned. No, you're not allowed. He's done! Woo! We've conquered the thief's hood. Oh my goodness, the apron just blends in so well with this. What have we got? An amethyst arrow, a stone sword, which is incredibly anticlimactic. More gold, a power one bow. Iron leggings could be very nice for us. A monastery explorer map. Interesting. This thing has three armor. If only it wasn't so damaged. It's actually more protective than my current thing. All right, maybe it's time that we sleep and move on to day four. Ah, the dawn of day four. It's a very cool biome. Very steep and rugged terrain, but very cool. Very interesting, very scenic. If it weren't so dangerous, you might enjoy, I don't know, taking a stroll through here. On day four, I found yet another village. These really do seem to be all over the place. This one was called Morkerkred. It's a great name. Maybe I'll make Morkerkred my little pit stop place because it does have a waystone that we've activated and I can place down the waystone wherever I'm going if I want to go back and forth from wherever I am to coming back here. Day four, dear diary, I commandeered a villager's chest. Why are you angry folks everywhere, okay? It's just like, it's just like minefields all over the place. I get too close and they run after me and poison me. On day four, the crowd went crazy. It was an incredible feat. Hmm. I'm not... 
How dare you question my MLG water bucket? Dude, that was insulting. Okay, so if I was doing a Minecraft 100 days video, I'd do a voiceover right now and say something like, I spent days four, five, and most of six arranging my inventory in this chest. Felt pretty good about my productivity. It usually takes me at least a week to organize an inventory in Minecraft, so I'm feeling very ahead of schedule. If it looks very similar to the fourth day, it's just because days in Minecraft usually look the same. It's not because it's still the fourth day. Oh no, the blood moon is rising. Uh-uh, uh-uh, we're not having that. I'm not ready for that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep. You may not rest now. The current lunar event is blood moon. Y you telling me I, I have to, I have to do, you're allowed to sleep. You look like you got some insomnia there, Jack. Would be a shame if you had to experience the blood moon with me. Oh God, was this caused by Barack Obama? Oh, 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 oh no! Barack is Barack is under attack. Oh no, he's getting taken out. Oh, it'd be a shame. It'd be a shame if the skeletons were to do that to you on the blood moon. It'd be a shame if this were to backfire on you. Oh my God, did the skeleton just pick up mask face? He's looking at me. Is the blood moon actually like you guys are chill? Jack's just sleeping through it. Are you cool? Skip it away. Despite being a blood moon, the fourth night was relatively uneventful. Occasional mobs attempted to assault the village, but were quickly dispatched by the very, very well trained guards. I did not participate in too many of the fights myself. The golem handled most of the work, took a lot of damage. And I was tempted to heal him with my limited iron, but then I decided, no, I'll use that iron on myself. Jack also slept most of the night. Didn't really contribute much, but we do hope that he had a very pleasant, non-insomniac evening. It is the dawn of the fifth day. The blood moon is setting. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carpe diem. Is day five the day that I become a pirate? Wait, oh God! Oh Jesus! What are you? A goblin trader? Whoa! Whoa! You have a lot of wares. You can upgrade to Fortune Four by giving him a Fortune Three book. And a oh, that's actually dope. That's super dope. My man's got some goods. I said I was gonna be a pirate. Oh! 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 Okay. Oh God! Are those healing arrows? Are those? They look like healing arrows. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Wait. Wait, do they not move? Hold on, they're not really moving much. They're not, you guys aren't really moving much. You're just standing in place. Honestly, it doesn't seem like a very effective way to defend things. Oh, yeah, please. Wait, what is it? Bro ho, ho. Projectile protection four. Oh, that's gonna be way better. Oh shoot, did I leave my Hecmet in the chest? Oh, no worries. I can get back there so easy. Pirate, done. And then I just go back to, uh, uh, yeah. Forgot the names? Yes, 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 here. Okay, yeah, 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 this is gonna be better. And then I'll put the pirate thing in there and I can just drop off my inventory at a moment's notice. And then I can go back. Oh, waystones are so sick. Okay, all right. What if I did a sneak attack where I dug underneath the deck? Okay, it's good. This is why you don't dig straight down in Minecraft, everybody. You're like, wait, but there's not gonna be lava underneath where I'm at right now. <laughs> it might be a Vindicator spawner. We're good. Whew. Okay. Hadn't had a chance to spawn yet. That's great news. And now we could like sneak attack. Boop. Off goes the weasel. Wait, ow, ow. Maybe I actually like kind of attack them one of the time here. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Okay, got him, got him, got him. Armor under heavy fire. Do I have un oh, I have unbreaky three on this, which is big, big plays, dude. Oh my God, dude. Is day five the day that I, I become a pirate? This is, this is going well so far. Stop, you're done. What if I make them hit each other? Stop, hey, why is he able to hit me? He's got the ability to hit through my shield, which is, uh, you hit each other. Yeah, that's, oh, it's slowness there. Unfortunately, you're unable to move for whatever reason. And, yes sir, yes sir. Day five of, I mean 50, of my Minecraft adventure, I managed to become a pirate. I was very pleased with my accomplishments and then decided to continue along on my journey. With it raining out, this actually feels like a great time to go underground and maybe uh, try to upgrade our gear. Get some more iron. I mean, it's nice that we do have a full set of iron here, but maybe even some unalivements while we're at it. Look at this. Look at this, everybody. 
We've got ourselves a little bit of caves and cliffs down here, huh? That's looking pretty nice. Ah, it was the end of day five. Or so I, I think it's very hard to keep track of time when you're underground and also it's raining outside. But I decided to go into the mine and accumulate some resources. A little bit of a dangerous time, but I felt confident in my ability to survive with a full set of iron armor. I proceeded to mine down a staircase till I found myself some deep slate at Y equals 15. Also, there was a cave opening down here. Oh, yes. Oh, give me this. Yes, please. Already? So quickly? You love to see it. You really do. Where we can find some more unalivements nice and quick like. Yes. Let me just. Oh my god, is there another? Is there truly another? Oh, you're too kind to me. This is. It's just absolutely incredible. We got 15. We'll prioritize other things over the chest plate, at least for now. As it was nearing the end of day six, I decided to undergo a little bit of obsidian mining. That way I'd be able to take these and construct a nether portal whenever we find ourselves a house. I would need ten of them, because of course, I'm very dedicated to never having corners on my portals. Now, this process would take quite some time, so I figured I'd just record it and then narrate voiceover after the fact because I'm definitely not recording voiceover right now. I'm doing this after, and not live in real time. Definitely. Oh boy, that hurt, that was close. I thought I'd be okay, I really should have put the shield in my, yep, but we're fine. Okay, whoo, it's a good thing we got that on live in armor, that would've been the end of the whole thing. Uh, is it gonna be, uh, is it gonna be not raining any longer? Let's, let's hope, let's, oh boy, that was close. Whoo, it's fine. It's all good. Hey, it's daytime. We'll call it. Um, this is day six. Don't worry. If, if we were doing a 100 days series, that would have been 10 days underground. The middle of day six. I emerged from the mine looking much better geared than I was before. With two spare diamonds in my inventory as well, I was ready to conquer the world. But first, I had to find a home, even if only a temporary one. Hopefully, I could find a house. Somewhere to call my own. What the f- It's a tornado with eyeballs! Who? 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 No! Don't like that! Don't like that at all! Can I even hit you? It's the wind. It's literally the wind. I'm, I'm trying to hit the wind. Ooh, 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 Deploy the arrow. Never mind, I- Oh, 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 okay, he's losing health. He's losing health. Did I get him? I got him. Yeah, take that wind! Is this a well? Well, 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 would you look at that? This is great. I'm gonna be able to set up here. Advancement made. Jump. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I wanna. Oh, this is perfect! That. That looks like a home. Oh. I can see why they may have moved out. That's, uh. Yeah, it, no, your house is, uh, it, it probably, it's seen better days, I'm assuming. It's seen better days. It could probably use a, uh, a bit of love for renovation. But you know what? I could do that. You know what? I could do that. I could undertake that renovation, and I, I could make this house a home. First, I'll probably have to sleep things off, and then tomorrow... We will begin. The bed is too far away. Here we go. All right. Whew. And on the dawn of the seventh day, I went to work. I decided to spend most of my seventh day 
constructing a house and leaving a water feature out at the front because I thought it looked nice. Well, there you have it. With some finishing touches, a couple windows, that's it. It's our home. Look, it kept a little water feature at the front. I'm not sure it's great for the foundation, but, you know, it's something. And now I'd say it's time that we take this house and turn it into a home. I mean, isn't that just beautiful? It started off as a little bit of a fixer-upper, needed some work, but now we've gone and made it great. We're rocking that cottage core. That's all the rage these days, right? Dude, it's all about that cottage core, and there we have it. You've even got a little cow up front. This is gonna be a great way to start our adventure here. I think before we deserve sleep, though, we've gotta, we've gotta grab our stuff back from over here. What's up, guys? It's good to be back in more red. Um, I'm, uh, 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 no, 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 uh, guys, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just grabbing my stuff, I'll be out, I don't wanna get in the middle of your tussle or anything, I, pr I promise, like, it, there's no, no need for you to be, like, upset with me or anything, I'm just an innocent bystander, I don't even live here, I live, I live somewhere else, I'm not invested in this fight or anything. Jack? Again? Guys? Guys? Why? Whoa, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, you don't! Oh, no, you don't! Home! Home! Gah! My home is much better than that place. That is a place of doom. And now... Whew, ugh, time for some sleep! Uh, moving on to day eight, ladies and gentlemen. Day eight. Oh, you guys have a, a waystone. I think I'll take that, actually, since now... What the heck is that? Huh. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I saw some spawners dangling off the mushroom, and that concerns me a little bit, so... What was that? Was it you? Oh, is it you guys making noises? What are you, a deer. Oh. Deer, this is very unrealistic. You're not just dashing away from me. Deer are terrified of everything. Except when you're driving in a car and they're like, I'm gonna jump in front of it. Alright, what is this place? What are we- uh, I guess it's a place with pillagers, yeah? Alright, day eight, we're gonna tackle a uh, pillager outpost stronghold thing. They're already shooting at me. How am I gonna access this thing? I could have used some more blocks getting in here, but... Trying to figure out the most covert method of action. About to sneak attack him. Oh! He doesn't even realize! I popped him off! He's out of there. Is there anything? There's nothing in the barrels. Ow, they're shooting at me! They're shooting at each other! Okay, are you- I can hit him from here. I can hit him from here. I can hit him from there. Yes! Oh! And the arrow- the arrow mans. Wait. Yes. Hit each other? Hit each other. Oh my god. My- Big brain plays. They're eliminating each other. The friendly fire is way too strong. Oh, he's holding a firework in his hand. Why is he holding a firework in his hand? That's a strange decision. Oh, he's eliminated another one of his friends. Not the most intelligent approach here. Yeah, my projectile protection four. Making your lives a little bit miserable, huh? Isn't it? Now, and that's what you get for saying that I can't come in here. Oh, this is cool. A big cyan glazed jar. Nothing. Oh, a gapple, an unbreaking iron chest plate, a little bit more iron. You guys got any other goodies, or is it literally that's it? This is not one of the more wealthy pillager stronghold locations. This could be pretty cool, as long as it doesn't do that. I was really hoping that I'd be able to take that home and use it as decoration. Blah. At this point, genuinely, I could say, uh, I dedicated days 8, 9, and 10 to arranging my inventory, and it probably wouldn't be far off, because, well, this is quite a mess. But, 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 but before it gets to be super nighttime, I'm gonna put the finishing touches on here. Get rid of the oak. Get rid of the oak. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. And then I also need to just complete the uh, ladders really quick. I can just craft in my inventory. 
And there we go. Okay, now we got the ladder to the attic. Stronger foundation. Incredible stuff. And we sleep. And on day nine, I investigate the mushroom. This is only mildly intimidating. Also mildly difficult to see what's going on under here. It's very black. So how, how bad of an idea is this? Oh, there's a whole spawner thing. Ooh, ow, that was really ungraceful. Oh God, was a skeleton spawner? It's done. Yo, we got some stuff in here. Is that a, is that a very bad man's? Okay, it's not hurting. It's not hurting too bad. We're okay. Had a little bit of speed on it, but okay, I can break some of this stuff. I just need extra blocks to build up, I think. Day nine is a day of, oh, there's, there's another one over there. Wow, there's so many mushrooms over here. I have a big fear that I am going to, well, that tent's gone. I have a fear that, that I'm going to get to the top of this. And it's going to be bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the water there preemptively. So that hopefully I have a spot to land in. Oh, is there nothing up here? Oh, maybe there's another chest. Maybe something underside. Oh, there's the spawner. Ow. Oh, I, they slow you a lot. Yeah, you get very slowed by that. Can I? I got this. I got this. Yes. Are these slime skeletons? It's like they slime ball my feet when they attack me. Yeah, but I got projectile protection three. That's the approach here. That's the approach. Oh, now they're shooting each other. God, I'm so good. I'm so good at pitting enemies against each other. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna do that really quick. I still got the waystone too, which is nice. I can just like dip on out of here whenever I want. And okay, couple more. Add that to how many do we have at home? I think three. That'll be able to get us some uh, boots. Is that it? Do we get the loot? Do we do it? Do we, do we just absolutely decimate? Oh, there's more boys spawning down there. Or did they all just fall down? My fighting technique is so exceptional that they decided to retreat down below. They just, they couldn't handle it. No, I, that's what I get sometimes. The enemies, they just flee from me because I'm just that good. Oh no! Oh, don't do that! Oh, don't do that! Oh god! Oh Jeebus! I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! I can get water some, some way else. That's just another little house on the prairie. I, I like how many of those houses there were that I could have chosen from that weren't broken. But you know what? The broken one is mine. And I'm proud of it. I guess I'll make boots. Let's do that. Let's get another upgrade going on here. Oh my god, there's so many endermen. I need your pearls. I'll be able to get the warp stone once I've got four ender pearls anyway. Uh, even though you guys don't seem to want to drop them. There we go. That's very nice of you. One more. I am a professional at running away. Yes, another one. Actually, I think that's enough ender pearls that if we wanted to make the warp stone, we would be able to. Oh, we need the purple unalive, which we don't have yet. Okay, sleeping for the end of day nine. <sighs> the dawn of the 10th day. What is this? This is so cool. A twig nest with duck eggs. That's so cute. I hope the ducks hatch and we can have little duck friends that live next to our house. That would be amazing. It's fine. Oh, oh, that vein miner though, dog. Oh, that's that's what we like on this. Oh my God. What are you guys? Pigeons. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't mind if I just, you know, chop down a little bit around your habitat. Oh, who am I kidding? You guys like you guys live in cities. You're versatile. Day ten felt good. Chopped down a pigeon's habitat. Buffy the compost slayer right here, dude. Do I want to create an enchantment setup? If I could get enchantments on like the pants and maybe the sword, although we don't have level thirty, and level thirty would be good. But this would give us like we could prep in advance. Oh, that's what I could do. Day ten. Destroyed my house. We're just gonna go ahead and pretend that never happened. Put the danger axe away. Yeah. Great. Now we can have ourselves a nice basement that, that we're gonna be able to use for an enchantment area, as well as other stuff, maybe some storage or things like that. It'll be rough for now. Just It's just gonna be a, a, a rough, Enchantment area. I continued to dig out the enchantment area 
The water dripping from the ceiling bothered me slightly, but I knew in the end it would not pose a problem because I would finalize this area more, expand it to be the greatest enchantment area the world had ever seen. Now, I mean, all I need is 30 levels, but we'll get there in no time. Okay. Yes, yeah, nice and symmetrical. It's beautiful. Now I just need the enchantment table as the cherry on top. There we go. All right. I look forward to getting the levels. You know what? Going to the nether, getting quartz, that could be the way to do it. So we'll put it over here, and then maybe in the future, assuming that we continue here, then we can go ahead and actually make more of a, a nice, well-thought-out portal area. No corners allowed? Brilliant. I'll let you go first, cow. One small step for cow. One giant step for cow kind. Right, you can't go through yet because I haven't loaded the chunks on the other side. So once I go through, you'll join me, yeah? It's the end of the 10th day. It's time. We've done all there is to do in the overworld. There's nothing left for us here. Thank you all so much for watching. 100... I mean, 10, 10 days in Minecraft Super Ultra Modded Hardcore. I hope you've enjoyed. We've found a home, we've set out, we've completed our goals, we haven't unalived, and then the next step is to enter the nether. Find a fortress, kind of other structures I know that are gonna be in there. So stay tuned, make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the bell, playlist in the description if there are any more episodes of this in the future. And that is all, we'll see you next time.